Today we finally got some free time to build some uh, parts that are uh, trying to get to build for a while on a 3D printer. Uh, what I usually do is think of what I want to make, design it up in this uh, 3D software, and uh, then I send it to my uh, 3D printer and build it. And again, I haven't had much time, so I haven't been doing too much. But today I built a nice little flashlight holder. It's going to for a Picani rail. This you see an assembly here. It's on a an AR top, AR rifle. It's a uh, upper receiver. It's not going to go on an AR rifle. I'm just using it for the the Picani rail. And you can see I can you know I can put many parts in there. And so this is a full full service uh, 3D program. You can uh, you know I get built tools on this with a couple hundred pieces. Uh, for the low cost of the software, it is it's a uh, it works out pretty well. But anyway, I designed this part, and uh, you know, you uh, let's go through it here. I can put lettering in it, whatever. I even put some, uh, you know, this is a piece of plastic, this 3D printed part. So what I do is I embed uh, nuts in it right here. I'll make a little well for the nut to go into, because you really can't thread this stuff. I haven't tried to thread it anyway, like with a tap. Uh, so what I did, I just put some hex areas in there so I could uh, put nuts in later, and that worked out pretty well. So I set it up in a 3D printer. You'll see a little video of it later getting printed up, just like this. Uh, you can do lettering. I still have a lot to learn with lettering. This is an unsupported 3D, so I need to put a little larger chamfers on it because it tends to droop a little bit on these uh, horizontal areas when you're doing uh, unsupported uh, uh, 3D printing. But and this is the part when you're all said and done. This is what it looks like. Pretty nice little part. And like I said, I got a little screw here. And I got the nut here. You know, same with my thumb screw. This locks it into the rail itself. Okay, so that works out pretty well. Oops, just watch my reach. Flashlight goes in there. Tighten this screw up, and it's uh, all good to go. So. You can put it on a uh, rail. I've been looking to buy one of these for the for the the front of the AR, and they're not free. You know, a good one. Don't get me wrong. This is a piece of plastic with a very expensive light, but uh, for deer hunting or something, if you want to put a light on your rifle for walking in the woods or whatever, this is a nice little way to do it. This is a piece of plastic. You know, if you can. Nice thing about 3D printing, if you can think of what you want to do and you can draw it up one way or the other, uh, you can pretty much make anything. Uh, would you, uh, you know, make something like this and try to climb a wall with it or climb a building? I don't think so. But uh, any non-structural part you could probably make uh, uh, pretty easily and you'd probably be pretty successful with it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later. Bye. Alright, this is the 3D printer, the Cubex Duo made by Alibre. And right now we're making a flashlight holder for this. You can design it so the flashlight slides right in, work on cars a little easier with two hands, have it there. And what the printer does is it has a PLA or ABS plastic and it slowly melts this plastic and dispenses out like a hot glue gun and it hardens up over time. So right now it's making it, you can see both sides. So this thing can make anything up by 10, 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches. Pretty sweet thing. As you can see, there's K3D, Group 3D designs. What we do is uh, just put it in a Libre. You can either send us a step file or I just file. Design it. We can design it for you. You can send us the files. We can put it in right to the printer. Little thing. Prints it out. Tells you how long it's going to make. See, this one's take, take, since it's a bigger thing taking about four hours. So I'll show you when it's done, what it actually makes, and when it's completed, how hard the plastic is. It's pretty neat stuff. Basically, you can build anything you can think of. And you can see here, it just slides right on. Screw this in. And it's on. Pretty simple, but it works.